Today, we're going to be talking about a topic that a lot of founders ask us about, which is how to set up your space optimally for great Zoom pitching. And to do that, we're going to compare two budgets. One budget is a $300 setup, and another budget is a $2,200 setup. And after we walk you through how we have set up our spaces, we're also going to talk about how to optimally use this equipment in the right way so that you can deliver maximum results in your fundraising pitches. Let's get started. Okay, this is Eric here, and we're gonna talk about my $2,200 budget for my garage setup. So I use a standing desk, and oddly enough, I have a treadmill and a stool. I'm not gonna include that in the budget, but let's walk through some of the critical equipment here. The most important piece of equipment I have is my Audio-Technica condenser microphone. This thing delivers crystal clear audio, and I love this thing. It's sitting right now on this spider mount, or I think it's a vibration mount. I forgot what the right name is. Not that important, frankly. I don't think I would have spent money on that if I could do it all over again. This, this boom microphone arm, though, is really, really great. This allows me to adjust height if I'm sitting or standing. Very, very nice. In addition to that, you know, I am using this wonderful, wonderful 4K camera called the Opal C1. Video quality is outstanding. This is sitting on top of a large Dell monitor. So this is a 4K monitor. Now the feature that I really like about it is depending on how I'm feeling, if I'm sitting, I can reduce the height. If I'm standing up, I can elevate it again. Pretty much any monitor does this. It doesn't have to be a 4K monitor but I think that this is a really ni nice part of my setup. Next, I have a very, very cheapo external speakers because it pairs nicely with my Mac Mini. I actually do have a dedicated M1 Mac Mini that is powering this entire station. I got this during COVID. This is my dedicated studio space and I love it. And two final items to call out. We have this nice LED lamp here. I think this is the cheapest thing I could find on Amazon. Nothing too crazy in terms of lighting, but I like the results. And this thing, a giant, giant freaking clock. Very, very helpful. When you're in the middle of meetings, sometimes you just need to have that on the side of your peripheral vision and let you know that you're running too late or too early and so forth. All right, so that is my setup. On Caps Notes is a series produced by Hustle Fund designed for first time founders. Follow us on socials and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. All right, welcome to my workspace. I have put this together over time, piece by piece, when I needed something to enhance my ability to do online video meetings. You'll notice right away that I have matched Eric's genius setup with the microphone. Yes, when your teammate has great ideas about audio, you just steal their ideas. So great mic, boom arm, super easy to use and delivers high quality audio. I have a ton of natural light in my space, so I don't need to do much, but I have this very cost conscious light if I need, you know, if I'm having an evening meeting and need to have a little bit more light on my face, I can just use this rechargeable light. And finally, the last item on my setup is this computer stand. And I think that you could easily get by using books or a box, something to get your computer and camera at eye level. But I had that stand and it's very much incorporated into how I set up my space for Zoom. Okay, so we're back. Now, Janelle, if you were advising a founder who is just putting together their setup from scratch today, what do you think is the most important piece of equipment they should get? Eric, the place where we both spend our money was on audio. So I would say if you are a founder and you're really just trying to elevate your game a little bit, spend it on a fabulous microphone and boom arm if you need to get that microphone in the right place. The reason that you want to do this is because when you're communicating with potential investors, you want the sound to be crisp, reliable. You want to have that almost studio quality. So, I mean, you know, we've talked about how we keep our backgrounds as is so that we show who we really are. There's that vulnerability there. But the quality 
audio sound can also deliver the same level of intimacy in a way. I totally agree with that. You know, that level of crispness and audio quality makes it really feel like you're sitting in the same room with that person. Now, you talked about backgrounds a bit, and we don't hide our backgrounds, but do you have any pieces of advice for founders when it comes to the framing of themselves on video and audio? Yeah, you know, you've mentioned this before, but you want to have a background, if you can, that's natural. Use natural light as much as possible. Make sure your face is well lit. And then depending on whether you have a super high-end camera like you're using, Eric, or the built-in camera on your laptop, you want it to be at eye level and you want to make eye contact with your camera as if you were sitting in the room with these potential investors and being able to engage with them with eye contact. I think that's so important, especially that last piece of advice when it comes to being at eye level. It's very unnatural, Janelle, for me to feel like... I'm, I'm talking to you by just looking directly at a camera lens, but I think it comes off as pretty natural, right? Yeah, that's right. It makes you feel like you're in the room with the person rather than 3,000 miles yeah. away. Yeah. Also, one other piece of advice that I've heard, Janelle, I saw this from another YouTuber, is it's a little bit higher than eye level is ideal. It kind of stretches out that double chin of mine to make me look a little more crisp. I think lower angle shots are a little bit less, uh, <laughs> less attractive for a lot of human beings. Maybe I'm just talking about myself here. Janelle has no bad angles, right? <laughs> All right, founders, you've seen two setups. Eric's at about seven times the cost of mine. So we'd love to know, do you think it's worth the extra cost? What parts of our setups are you going to get the most bang for your buck for? Maybe you have some tips on ways to hack to a lower budget but high quality setup. Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Uncapped Notes.